Hey, what's up YouTube? This is iPhone Modder here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use your iPhone, iPod Touch and your iPad as a USB flash drive or disk drive, however you want to say it. And just to clarify, I've not tried this out with the iPad, but I have tried it out with the iPhone and the iPod Touch and it does in fact work. Now first, you're going to want to make sure you upgrade to the newest firmware. And also before I continue, I want to mention for all my current subscribers and my new subscribers to come that there is now a moderator module on my channel and you can suggest videos that you want me to do. So please check that out guys. It's just youtube.com slash iPhone modern. If you want to subscribe, you want to just hit that button right there and you'll be notified of everything. Also, I'm really sorry I haven't been mailed to make a lot of videos it's finals week it's the end of the school year i have a lot of projects i have a lot of tests to study for so guys sorry i just made this to make up for all of the time that i didn't make a video so guys let's continue with the tutorial so first what you're going to want to do is be jailbroken then you're going to want to go into cydia all right guys now once you're in cydia you're going to want to hit the manage tab down below then when it loads up you're going to want to hit sources all right guys now once you're in sources you're going to want to hit edit on the top right hand corner then hit add on the opposite side which is the top left corner and you're going to want to put in the source that should come up on the screen right now right here where my finger just passed through it's going to be apt dot d m y t r o dot m e forward slash now this spells out to be apt dot demetrio dot me and so now you're going to want to press add source it's going to verify your URL, then it's going to update the new packages. And as you can see up here, it says updating sources. And we should get our sources updated momentarily, and I'll be back once it has done so. Alright guys, now that you added that source, what you're going to want to do is go into search. And you're going to want to type in on the search USB drive. And I want to type in USB should come up because nothing really has anything other than USB drive. And you're going to want to click on that. And if you have not already done so, just install it up. And once you install it, come back to this video. All right, guys. So as you can see here, I've downloaded a USB drive. It should look a little something like this. And you're going to want to click on that. And current location, I'm going to say don't allow because that's kind of weird. All right, guys. Just for this video, I'm just going to leave it about 1 gigabyte. It's 1.19. But if you want to go up and down, you can just spin the little scroller. And it'll go all the way up to whatever your memory is and what you have available. So I'm just going to leave it about 1 for this video. Uh, all right now you're just gonna want to change your name if you want to do so I don't really care what the name is so I'll just change it to iPhone modder and save now I'm gonna press create and it's gonna create a disk depending on how big you set the disk to this might take a good five to ten minutes but for this one gigabyte it should only take about two minutes so I'll come back when it's done and I'll show you how it works on your computer all right guys, so now I've created my 1.06 gigabyte USB drive and before you connect it up to the computer, what you're going to want to do is reboot your device. Now you can just do so by simply hitting the home button, holding the power button, and sliding to power off. And once you power it off, just power right back on. And now when it loads up, you're going to want to just connect it up to your PC or Mac, and I'll be there to show you how it looks. Alright guys, so now as you can see, my iPhone has in fact booted up, and I'm just going to connect it to my computer, which is a Windows PC. But again, it does work for either Mac or Windows. I'm just going to connect it through the USB port, and just connect it up to my computer. Alright, it is connected up, and I'm just going to zoom in here, and as you can see... Or maybe you can't see it says iPhone modder and it says drive F now I'm sorry for some reason this camera although it does record in 1080p sucks at recording my computer screen so guys just bear with me and let's just see what it has all right so it says this folder is empty now I'm just gonna take lime rain and just drag it onto here and as you can see now we have lime rain just gonna zoom out for you right here and we can launch that lime rain right up from my USB drive. Let's also just drag in another video that I made recently about how to speed up your iPhone. And look, it is taking a while. Just to let you know, this is actually a little bit slower than USB 2.0. It does take a while to transfer data, but right now it's going at about 1.33 megabytes per second, which is not the best, but again, you are using your iPhone. So don't expect too much, but it is better than nothing. So I'm just gonna wait here while it transfers. 
and show you guys that it in fact works. Alrighty guys, so I've transferred the video now and there was no edit so you know I was not BSing you. And let's just launch it right up and see how it plays. And we got our video up and running. You can probably hear the audio. How to back up your Cydia apps, tweaks, and sources to your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. All right, guys. So that's how to use a USB drive for your iPhone, iPod Touch, and possibly your iPad. Again, I have not tested it out. And this does work for Mac and Windows on any computer, any operating system. This is great for school, work, your business, anything. So please, guys, if you want more tweak, jailbreak videos and apps and how-to tutorials, please click the little subscribe button up there and the like button down here. And again, visit my channel, check it out, leave a comment in the moderator module, and tell me what you guys think about this video down in the comments below. And ultimately, have a nice day.